Okay. So uh, the first time I did this question, I forgot to share my screen. So I'm doing this question again, and I will now remember to share my screen. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So we have three things we want to take note of. Three things are the terminating condition, the recursion, and also what is the deduction. Okay. Now let's look at the function first. Define sum of terms. Uh, something here. And if terminating condition which I stop else are recursive. Okay, so uh, in general, this is how the recursive function looks like. So now the issue right now is just to uh, think what can we fill up in these gaps. One thing that we can do here is we borrow the idea between question one, which is we pass in the value of n where n is the number of characters left to print, in this case left to n. So let's say if I pass in the number n here, so when n equals to 5, it means I have 5 more characters to add. If n equals to 3, 3. If n equals to 1, this is the last character. So my termina terminating condition it can be either when n equals to 1 or when n equals to 0. So both is fine. When n equals to 1, you return 1. When n equals to 0, you return 0. So when n equals to 1, you can return 1.0. So this is the terminating condition. Let's look at the other thing, which is what is the recursion as well as what is the uh, what is the reduction? What is the reduction? So in the recursion, what we see is that we need to do an addition based on the reciprocal of n. So I probably need to return. Uh, the function here plus one the reciprocal of n and the reduction step will probably be n by one because every time we just reduce n by one value. Notice one thing, if n is even, I use a plus, if n is odd, I use a minus. Hence, if n2 equals to 0, I return a plus, and if else, I return minus. So that seems to be it. Let's test. So I've got print sum of terms I find seems to be correct. Let us try to print this to four decimal places. So yeah, so that's it for question number two. That is the complexity of this. Uh, what do you guys think? Put in the comments below. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, uh, so what do you guys think? Every time we reduce it by one, and so this would simply be a 
with O or N. Okay. So uh, this question is slightly more straightforward. If that's it, I will move on to question number three. Thank you.